Hey y'all, I'm Amanda Harden, and this is Lipstick Tactical. Pistol Grip, are they all the same? No, they're definitely not. The grips we're gonna use for our semi-automatic pistols, it's gonna be a different grip than what we're gonna use for our revolvers. We're gonna keep our finger off the trigger. We're gonna visually inspect that our firearm is in fact unloaded. I'm looking in both places that a bullet could potentially be. We're good to go. We are unloaded. We're going to close the cylinder. You will see a lot of bad grips, a lot of wrong grips. So don't think that you can go to the range or watch a movie or a television show and get information on the correct grip. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be teaching from a right-handed position. Finger always off the trigger, always, always, always. So I'm holding the, the grip of the gun in the palm of my right hand. You want as much of your hand touching the firearm as possible. You're gonna see some old style grips. We have got this cup and saucer grip. It's not really taut anymore and it's not a good grip. Literally, this would be the cup and I'm putting it in a saucer. It's pretty obvious why this is not a good grip because I have got so much ability for this firearm to recoil when I pull the trigger and discharge it. A more uh, appropriate grip would be to hold it just like I have it on my right, in my right hand. And then I'll take my left hand. It's really a modified grip of how you would hold a semi-automatic pistol. I'm gonna wrap my hand around my right hand. So my left is covering my right. My fingers are down here. They're touching the trigger guard. I want multiple points of contact on this firearm. That's gonna give me tremendous control. Then my thumbs are gonna be below the cylinder. This thumb, I actually have it resting on the cylinder release. That's okay. I do have a, a, a chance that if I pushed it forward, it would be very hard for me to push that forward uh, because my thumb is just resting against it. This thumb is below the cylinder. Obviously our cylinder is gonna rotate each time we fire the, the gun. So we want to stay out of the way of that. And then we have hot gases. They're gonna discharge from the front when we fire the gun. So we never want our thumb up here. That we got a potential to burn ourselves and hurt ourselves. So I'm gonna have my hand wrapped, my left hand wrapped around my right hand. This is my support hand. My fingers are touching the trigger guard and my thumb is on the frame behind the cylinder opening. And then my right thumb is resting on the cylinder latch just because that's where it naturally lands for the size of my hand and the size of this gun. So right here, this is a really firm grip. I have got so much of my hands touching this gun that when I pull the trigger, I'm gonna have a tremendous amount of control over the recoil. And I'm putting pretty much equal pressure from the right hand and the left hand. You want to be gripping a little softer with your dominant hand than with your support hand. And this is great. And I'm going to keep my finger off the trigger until that last second when I'm ready to slide my finger in and pull that trigger. The right here. Here's a really solid grip on a semi-automatic pistol. And we're always going to be mindful to keep our our hand away from the hammer because it's gonna move, it's gonna come back. And if my hand is in the way, it's gonna hit my hand and it's gonna hurt me, maybe even bust open my skin. So always be very mindful of staying free of the hammer in this area and the front of your cylinder.